All right, guys, we're going to do some tests, some more experimental tests. And I know people will make video about me. They'll try to expose me, but I don't give a damn. I'll let them. All they're going to do is let my channel grow. Remember, I'm experimenting here. So before I do anything, listen to my words. Get it to your thick head. Experiment. I am not some guru tech fucking guy that's going around telling you this is how it is. It's experiment. All right, so what are we doing? Here's what we're doing. As you can see, this is my uh, Asus monitor. My Asus monitor that supports only 1080p picture. And what I'm trying to do is, I already hooked up my Xbox One S. What I'm trying to do is downscale 4K on my 1080p monitor and seems to be working so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to my settings and then I'm gonna go and try to uh, see where's my settings right here hold on go to my settings Go right here and we'll go to display and sound video output and see what we can do. Okay, so what have we find out? We have find out that it's not going to do that. If it doesn't detect your uh Xbox One uh four K TV, then it's not going to upscale. Okay, your TV setup doesn't support. See, what it does it automatically detects if your TV supports 4K or not. Okay, let's put out 50 hertz, see what happens. Okay, so one thing we find out that it doesn't work. Uh, somebody asked me to do this video, and here I am, I did it, and this experiment, it doesn't work. Uh, you cannot downscale uh, the 4K with this monitor. You can only, it, what it does basically, it detects the resolution. If if your TV monitor is not 4K, it's not going to work. So there you have it. It doesn't work, guys. So you cannot downscale uh, this to a 1080p monitor. And the only reason I did this test is because somebody asked me, hey, could you try to downscale the uh, 4K output on your Xbox One S to 1080p? But here's the problem. Your Xbox One S GPU detects automatically uh, if your uh, TV supports 4K or not. But okay, since we already know that the downscaling doesn't work, that you cannot do that, at least we got that cleared away. Remember, downscaling doesn't work on 1080p monitor. Cannot do that. Xbox One S doesn't support that. You can maybe do that on a PC with a DSR, but I don't think you can do that, obviously, on, on, on a 1080p monitor. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do here, I want to see how fast the game runs uh, on 1080p. Okay? I just want to do this really quick. I just want to do this uh, comparison to see... Uh, how well it works. Let's go ahead and let's do uh, Forza, Forza Horizon 3 really quick. And let's see just uh, are there any differences as far as uh, you know jagged edges, graphics, stuff like that. I just want to see how well it works. All right, so here is the uh, 1080p uh, Xbox One S Forza Horizon 3 running on my 1080p uh, monitor. And um, quite honestly, I don't see any difference uh, 
graphically it's still the same just remember guys you cannot downscale with Xbox One S from 4k to 1080p you cannot do downscale it doesn't allow that I remember this is just a, a experiment that I'm doing I'm just testing it to see I just want to see if there's any lag if there's barely any lag when I'm uh, running it through 1080p monitor this is a 60 Hertz monitor I just want to see if there's any lag All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna start pretty soon. Here, here's where it's gonna start. So let's check it out. Remember, this is just an experiment that I'm experimenting. That's all. So remember, guys, the uh, downscaling doesn't work on 1080p monitor with Xbox One S. You cannot do that. All right, let me see. I mean, it looks nice. I don't see any lag. It runs really, I noticed it runs a little bit faster. Uh, I don't know. I know this game, it's what, uh, 30 frames per second? But I noticed a little bit smoother and faster uh, frame rate on a 1080p monitor than the upscale. So there you have it guys, uh, obviously you cannot downscale to, uh, you cannot downscale from 4K on a 1080p monitor. Alright, let me switch back to my monitor, to my big TV over here and let me see uh, how different the frame rate's gonna be if there's any lag if I switch it back from 1080p to a 4k So let me go ahead and do that All right, so we are back now on the uh, upscaled 4k and I notice uh, that the frame rate drops down a bit, you know Not it not too much, but it, it, you can clearly see it dropping down a bit once it goes to uh, upscaled uh, 4k I can see it dropping down at 30 frames per second easily. So, uh, but that's something you know that I expect to see happen when you connect the TV to uh, 60 hertz 4K resolution upscale to 4K. You you are going to notice uh, that difference on frame rate because clearly I, I when I switched back to 1080p it was much faster. Okay, let's do one quick test. Let's switch back to 1080p really quick. All right, we're back to 1080p. And, and I see a little bit... I see frame rate go a little bit faster than this. And, and you know, it just seems much smoother. I don't know. Like, I don't see any... Like, I didn't mean frames. I mean, I see zero. I, that, not that much lag. You know, when I put it to upscale, I see a little bit of slowdown. Like, a little bit of lag here. Everything's smooth. Look, everything's fast. But when I switch it to 4K, then I see some lag. Okay, let's switch to 4K again. All right, we switched to 4K upscale. And clearly, you can see the frame rate. You see how everything is a little bit slower. Like, you can look up stuff. There's some lag, a little bit of lag once it's upscaled. So, there you guys have it. Hopefully, this uh, experiment, you guys decide for yourself. Remember, I'm not... A, 
tech guy. 